Today, Pace TV is visiting Melina Phillips at her beautiful home in Fallbrook, California. Hello there, everybody. Today, I'm going to be picking avocados. I used the last one yesterday, and I really want some avocados. So I thought I'd show you how to pick an avocado. Now, the type of avocados that we have are called the Fuerte. Now, the kinds you usually see at the store, they are the Haas avocados. They have the bumps to them and stuff. But the Fuertes have a much smoother skin, and I'll show you that in just a moment. So what I'm picking it with is a huge, huge, long, very long picker, <laughs> as you can see. And what the picker does is it has a little pair of scissors, like right here. So you get it to the stem, and then you pull this string, and this string runs down the length of the picker so that you're able to pick it even though it's high up in the tree now i like the ones high in the tree because they tend to be a little bigger and also well we have a lot of avocados that are hanging low i don't know if you can see these right here but we have some avocados that are hanging low but they tend to be a little smaller first of all and not only that i tend to let the low hanging avocados stay for days i do not feel like pulling out the picker um, and since I have the picker I'm going to get the ones that are higher up um, in the tree again they tend to be a little bigger and they'll get ripe faster and then they'll fall to the ground and so of course I want to be there to get them and I, or I want to pick them myself and let them actually ripen in the house now the hoss that you get at the store you know those are ripe because the, the skin turns um, dark right that's how you know it's ripe it gets dark these you actually have to touch them to know that they're ripe. Or the other way, again, is by taking off a little bit of that stem, which I'm gonna show you. By taking a little bit of the stem, when that stem just falls off, when you touch it and it just falls right off, you also know that it's ready to be eaten. Then you can have it. So, first thing I'm gonna do is look at the tree. What's interesting about an avocado tree, that, at least for me, is that I can look at the tree and when you, my first look at it, you don't see the avocados because of its leaves and things being just as green and big. But after you stare at the tree for a little bit, when you stare a little while, then the avocados just pop out. And you see, oh my gosh, they're everywhere. There's lots and lots of avocados on this tree. And they are ready to be eaten. Well, not ready to be eaten, ready to be picked. So you save them for about mm, anywhere from five to seven days, then they're ready to be eaten. And so what I like to do is come out and pick some avocados. And um, but I like to have more than, um, I mean, I'll pick, I'll pick enough that it's gonna last me at least a week, also enough to share and stuff with my friends and, and neighbors and stuff. Um, and then I'll come back out again in about four or five days and pick some more. Okay, so here is an avocado right here. And I just pull the string and you get one. And let's see, I'm gonna look and see if I can find another one. Oh, there's one way up here. Let's see if I can reach it. It's, oh, another one. I got it. And there's another one. Oh. Once I go up that high, I want to at least get one or two before I bring it back down again. And as you can see, That's a nice looking avocado. I know I should have given him more of the stem. This one has a little more stem and I should have, I like to give even more than this, but I didn't do that. Oh, oh here's one. Let me get this one. And I'll show you how much stem I like to get. Uh, oh, oh, heavy, heavy, heavy. This is how much stem, not that, not that. Oh, the stem broke off. Okay, well, there you have it. That stem broke off. Oh, well. And that's what they'll do. They'll break right off because um, it's starting to get ripe. It's, it's getting in the, it's in the sun, getting a lot of sun, even though it's little. And so that thing broke right off. So again, I will let it sit. You, want, you really want to keep have some stem on there like the first ones that I showed you, like these, um, because it helps it to ripen more evenly, it seems. And um, it, just, it just tastes really, really good. And again, the other, way, other thing I like about it is by when you just tap it, it falls right off and you know, as well as feeling it, you know that the avocado is definitely 
ready to be eaten. And that's what you want is a nice, delicious avocado to eat. So that, see I only was out here for a few seconds, few minutes, if that, and I was able to pick several avocados. So what I'm gonna do is, I may get just one more. Let me see. Cause I don't like to get the low hanging ones, but I see one right over here that I just might take. Let me look up first. Ooh, 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 ooh. There is just so many of them. I want them all, but I know it's not smart because I can't eat them all. Okay, so, oh, and they look so good. Okay, I'm gonna get just this one. I'm gonna get one more. I'm gonna empty this out, put these down here, and then I'm gonna get one more, and that's it. I'm not gonna get no more after this. Because so anyway, let's see, where, where was it at? Oh goodness. Ooh, 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 this is was not it, but oh my God. Wait till you guys see this one. Wait till you see this avocado. Oh gosh, and they're clustered together. There's three of them. Three huge avocados right next to each other. And I don't want to get three because, okay. I'm gonna have to phone a friend. I'm gonna have to phone a friend. Look at this baby. See, that's again, that's the size stem I'd like to have. A little bit longer like that. <sighs> yeah, and longer like that. See? That's a good size stem. And then, there you go. So, again, these are the Fuertes, Fuerte avocado. And the one that we're most familiar with are the Haas, which is the bumpy one. This has a much more smooth skin. It's much buttery. It's, it's really, really, really good. This is a delicious avocado. Another one that you won't see very often, and that's the reed avocado. I would love to plant a reed avocado tree because they're so good. And those avocados, they're, they get big and they're round. I mean, those are some really delicious avocados. If you see a reed avocado, buy it, taste it. If you can get all three, then you can actually see the difference um, of the taste. Hi, you guys. I am back again, and this time I'm gonna get a few oranges. No, I do not need the picker, but what I didn't do was bring my bag with me. So I'm gonna use my basket from my avocado picker, from the picker, to keep my oranges in for I can get them back to the house. As you can see, I'm doing this uh, around the world in 80 days. Okay, around the world in, what, 15 minutes. <laughs> Now, again, I'm going to go ahead and get some of these oranges. They are absolutely delicious. I have to admit, they're much smaller than they used to be, so I don't think they were getting enough water. Normally, they're really big and juicy, and they're easy to peel, and they're just delicious. But I'm going to get some of these anyway. So let's see what they look like. Oh, some just fell off the tree from the, from the branch just shaking. But these are... Um, what are these? These, I think these are my tangelos. Actually, not oranges, tangelos. So, but see how easy they are to peel, but they're so little, these are so little. I'm so used to them being huge. So I guess we were uh, not watering like we should or didn't give them quite enough water, trying to conserve the water. What can, what can you say? But let's see what they taste like. Mm. Mm. They're so good. Mm, mm, mm. One seed. Mm. This one has zero seeds. Mm, mm, mm. Zero seeds. Hold up to the light, you can see through it. And there's no seeds in there. Mm. So good. Okay. I'm going to work. I'm gonna pick a few of these. If I can juice them, I have to go get, I'm gonna go get my bigger bag though. Because I really do need to juice these. Because I wanna freeze them and make my own orange juice. They keep falling to the ground. Oh, 
Okay, I'm not gonna get that. There's just too many up here. I'm not gonna bother getting those. I'll get these. And unless you see the fruit fall to the ground, if you watch it fall and you see it fall and you see it roll, you can then pick those up and wash them. But if a fruit's been lying on the ground, leave it, let it go. Don't eat those because you never know, you know, if a, a, a varmint has gotten to it and you, you just don't know. So you don't want to get those. But again, if you just saw it fall to the ground, you can pick that back up again because you know, you're going to go out, you're going to get in the house, you're going to wash it anyways and all that kind of good stuff. But um, yeah, so now I got myself some oranges. I didn't get as many as I want. Oh, look at those avocados over there on that tree. Oh, well, I got enough avocados, so I'm trying to ignore it. And they're all around me. Avocados. I'm being attacked by the avocados. And they want me to, they're telling me, eat me, eat me. You have to have me. And I'm like, no, 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 I can't. I can't. I can't eat that many avocados. Oh. So I'm keeping it together. <sighs> Scene. <laughs> okay. Enough oranges. Okay, one more. One more orange. Let me go get myself a bag. And might as well get myself some oranges. I'm going to juice them. Hey, I'll share that with you too. You want to see me juice some oranges? And then I'll show you how I freeze them. It's really easy, but it's best if you have a freezer. If y'all don't have a freezer, you may want to think about getting a freezer, okay? Um, yeah, and I think I want to grab myself a few of those lemons over there from the lemon tree. Because it's just nice to have them in the house. I decided I want some lemonade. I decided I just want to add. I'm cooking, making a peach cobbler. You gotta have fresh lemon juice for your peach cobbler. Um, and just, you just gotta have the lemons there. They smell good. When you're done using your lemon, you put it down the garbage disposer, run that little rascal. It smells good. I tell you what, it's all good. The wind is blowing, it feels so good. The hills are alive with the sound of music. <sighs> yeah. So, I told you guys I would show you how I make my avocado toast. And um, my avocados are now ready. It don't take two, believe me. It's only going to take one. But I just wanted to show you how. You see the avocado? It's still green. It's not black. Again, this is the Forte avocado. And so, but it's nice and squishy. So you know it's ready. My little stem, I knew it because I touched it. It just fell right off. And so, um, yeah, this is ready to be eaten. So now I'm going to have my avocado toast. So yeah, I got all my stuff ready because you know I want to prepare for this so I don't have to keep running back and forth. I have my bread. It's already been toasted. I have it sitting on my plate. I put my bread on my plate so that it's already ready. I have my avocados and I have my knife ready to cut my avocados. And then I have my seasonings. Now, when it comes to the seasonings, you can use whatever you want. Me, well, I'll tell you as we go along. Another thing I do, put on my um, avocado toast. I know a lot of folks don't do this, but I like some mayonnaise on mine or some Miracle Whip on mine. Sometimes I'll add a little, on my toast, I'll add a little bit of that, um, the, the ranch dressing. Oh, that's good. Oh, that's some good eating there. You know, I can't maintain this figure. I can't maintain my figure, you know, without eating some of this stuff. And I am okay with that. So, actually, I decided I am going to use some of my little dressing on top today. Instead of the, instead of the mayonnaise, I'm going to put some dressing on top. Come on out. Come on out, dressing. Just took it out the refrigerator so it's still a little hard. All right. Got my dressing ready. There. Spread my dressing around my toast. See? Actually, I think I want it on both. On both slices of my bread. I'll put my dressing. There you go. Okay, so, yes, I use my knife to spread my dressing because I'm the one that washes dishes around here and I ain't trying to pull out all them dishes. So, I like to use the same thing. So now, I just like to cut my avocado right around that big old seed that's in the middle. 
give it a little twist and it just comes apart two pieces yummy 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 you see that right there that's the um the what is that called it's the skin of the avocado seed that also came off and so i'm just gonna pry that on out of there i'm just gonna cut it on out i guess i could leave it there and cut it and you know cut around it but i'm gonna take it out why not and just put that right up here there so i just pulled it on out i like to go around my avocado and just uh cut the skin it makes it easier to take the skin off if you cut the skin up oh that one just take it that one just come right off anyways i don't gotta cut it up so much so there i'm just peeling off my skin of the avocado and it peels off really easy because the avocado is ripe. So I'm peeling it off. Now, I'm gonna slice my avocado into, you know, those half circles. And I like to slice it like that because it just, it looks pretty. <laughs> and because the avocado is ripe, I don't even have to worry about putting much pressure. I just barely touch the knife up against it and it just slices like butter baby it's like the butter baby <laughs> okay so i am now almost done slicing my avocado i like a lot of avocado on my toast because i like avocado i just eat it by itself mm. it is so good just delicious so now i have one side of my toast I use the whole avocado. Ain't that pitiful? I know. But it's good. And it's mine. I got a whole tree of avocados out there. So I can do that, see? Now if I was buying these little rascals, I'd have to stretch it out. Take my take one avocado and I would at that one rascal would last me at least two or three sittings. Two or three toasts. But since I have a whole tree out there and they ripe, I eat as much as I want. Okay. Now, next thing I do, mm, I'm gonna clean my hands because the avocado get on my hands. See, so good is my seasonings. I like to have a, I like to add a little bit of um, garlic salt or garlic powder if I want to use my own salt. But I'm gonna use it. So this is a little bit of garlic powder action. Oh, smells so good. A little bit of pepper. Fresh ground pepper is always delicious. And a little bit of seasoning salt. There. And now I have made my delicious avocado toast. That's just one. Let's see what it tastes like. Hmm. Mmm. <laughs> That is so good. And the most important part of my avocado toast is my coffee. Oh, time for me to go sit down and eat. Oh, shoot. I have to make the other one. Okay. Let me do this one real fast. Here we go. So you know what I'm doing. I've already told you. But. And I'm going to peel it. And you want to pull the skin off because you don't want to take. You don't want to actually cut the avocado um, and peel it. You want to actually just pull the skin off because you don't want to lose any of that delicious avocado meat. And that's why we actually just pull the skin right off like this. I'm like a potato where you're actually peeling a potato. No, no, no. You ain't let none of the skin go to waste. I mean, none of this avocado meat go to waste. So, and I left 
the inside in the um the skin of the seed in there this time because I'm just gonna cut around it. Oh, just cut it a little bit too deep. Okay. Well, I'll clean it out. I'll clean it out once I get it all cut up then. Because I'm being lazy. Oh, you hear that bird? Isn't that beautiful? Every morning I hear them birds out there singing. They're just just beautiful. I tell you, I'm just so blessed. <laughs> I really am. And I just thank the Lord for it. All right. Now I'm going to take this out. I'm going to take out that skin. Take out this skin. It's usually best to prepare to get this all out in the beginning because by the time you get halfway done like I am, I have one already done, I'm ready to eat. <laughs> and it ain't going to be as pretty this next one because I'm in a hurry because I want to get to my food. Oh, I love me some avocado. Okay. You know, it's funny, being from Ohio, we didn't have avocado. I didn't know about no avocado until I came to California. And that's when I discovered the avocado. And when I first had my first avocado, I couldn't see what the big deal was. I couldn't taste anything. I thought it tastes like nothing. I don't see what people are liking about this, but it wasn't very long to where I was ordering and asking for avocado or my food that I was eating because I, it was just so delicious. And now, 30 years later, I have my own avocado trees. Can you believe that? I tell you, that's just God. All right, now, seasonings. Let's get my seasonings on over here. Again, a little bit of the, um, a little bit of the, of the garlic salt. Let me move this closer to me here. Come on, plate. Mm. All right. A little bit of pepper. Whoops. And a little bit of seasoning salt. Let's see. There. And of course, cannot forget my coffee. Take a look at that. Isn't that lovely? Isn't she lovely? Isn't she wonderful? Mm. Life is avocado toast. <laughs> mm. You know, there's so many things you can do with avocado. I have one of the ladies at church, they make avocado fudge oh and I've had avocado milkshakes and I mean there's all kinds of things you can make avocado ice cream oh I'm telling you the things you can do with avocado oh the list just goes on and on but right now my favorite avocado toast mm. now that my toast is all done my coffee's ready I'm gonna go and enjoy myself my breakfast. But before I go, I want to tell you, you can also store your avocados in the refrigerator. I had no idea all these years and I just let my avocados go bad because I thought I had to. And I learned that I can now, that I can put my avocados in the refrigerator and that keeps them right longer. I just pick them out, put them out and let them sit and then they'll start to get ripe as they sit out in the warm air, as they sit out of the refrigerator. But inside the refrigerator, it slows them down from getting, getting right. Who knew? Anyways, thank you for joining me and I hope you learned a little bit about avocados, a little bit about avocado toast, how delicious they are. And again, your seasonings, your toppings could be anything that you want that brings to life. You could throw a couple of slices of bacon across there if that's your thing, you want bacon. Can you imagine avocados and bacon sandwich? Throw some tomatoes, a few onions. Now we're talking some good eating. <laughs> now, as you can see, these oranges, they peel very, very easily. They're um, tangelos is what these are. That's why they're so easy to peel. As opposed to just regular oranges. 
And once I get them all peeled, like I said, I will, I will go and juice them. So now I'm gonna get ready to make some orange juice. How I do it. Like I said, I had no idea that you could just freeze your orange juice. I don't know why I didn't think about that. So let me plug it in. But it works so well. Now, I'm gonna use this to catch my juice. Now, what I need to do is get a bigger container so as this fills up, I can pour it, I can put it into a bigger container. So let me get that. Okay, here's my little plastic container with my little spout on it to make it, e make it easier for me. So I'm getting this all ready. And that's pretty much it. Turn on my juicer and I'll just add these in there. I don't have to worry about taking any seeds out or anything. I absolutely love it. And then the juice just starts coming out. I don't know if you can see it right here. And this is why I go ahead and get all my juice, all my oranges ready up front. Look at all this juice I have. That is a lot of orange juice. I give it a little, tilt it a little bit to get the little extra juice out. Because I can't stand the little droplets on my counter, I put something under there. And then I just pour it into this container and I get ready to make some more juice. And if you want less pulp, I can, you could actually strain it because when you freeze it, um, the consistency, the pulp is a little different when it's frozen, but it's still good. I don't, I don't, it doesn't bother me, but for some people it might. And so then you might want to just really give it a good strain uh, to make sure that there is no pulp in there if you don't want the pulp and if you don't want it to do, look kind of weird um, once it freezes and um, then you unthaw it. But if you're like me again and you just freeze it and you eat it frozen, delicious, or um, freeze it and it just doesn't bother you if it's frozen, even better. So. And this is the end result once it's frozen. So you see how that is? It's just nice and it's cold. This is my thing and I absolutely love it. This is how I do it. Okay. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed that. And um, yeah, if you have some ideas, let me know because you know what? I know very little about doing stuff at home and I'm just learning. <laughs>